Applications are up. They're looking good. 13% increase in application, 13, 14, 5, 10, someplace in there. But we're up than over a year ago. Murphy has talked to every one of those applicants individually. He was invited them all over to his house for dinner. <laughs> and so we're very, very pleased of what's, what's going on in that, and that we are still a very attractive place to prospective students. What the concern is, is that those students, the percentage of students who, who paid their deposits is down from a year ago. So although the applications are up, those paying deposits are down. So we don't know what that's going to mean in the fall. So I talked about the good thing about us being tuition driven. Well, that's also, there's also a downside to that too. Because if enrollment drops, then our income drops, doesn't it? So what do we do? So we are planning three scenarios with budgets because we're really not sure where we're going to be next year. One scenario is that we drop in enrollment. So we have to plan accordingly so we know where we're going to get that money from. If, if we have to do some scaling back, tightening even more, we have to plan accordingly for that. Another scenario is that it'll be flat. We won't have an increase and we plan accordingly for that. And the third scenario, which is the hope scenario, is that we have a small increase. Regardless of that, tuition will not increase beyond eight sorry, 2.86. So regardless of any of those scenarios, we're holding it there. You know, speaking of gifts, I forgot to mention that we've been working diligently to build our alumni base and, and to uh, bring our alums back into the, into the fold. As recently as three years ago, we had three alumni groups. One here in Chicago, one in Los Angeles, and one in New York. Now we have about 10 alums all over the country pulling together. In fact, that there were three alumni parties associated with the Oscars, the largest of which was in Los Angeles, where we had about 250 alums to show up, one here in Chicago, and one in Las Vegas. Alums are now connecting with each other and connecting back to the institution. And that long-term relationship with alums back to the institution will be a benefit to all of you students. We purchased old buildings and refurbished them. Uh, we've done a pretty good job of doing that. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, but we've done a pretty good job. We probably are, are, are the experts in buying old, ugly buildings. Um, Alicia says they're old, shitty buildings. <laughs> Notice, notice she's not here today, okay? <laughs> and we were first. Well, the media, the media Production Center will be the first building that the college will build from scratch. It's a building at 18th and 16th and State. We were very, very fortunate that the mayor likes us and made it possible for us to purchase some land from the city, which was valued at $6 million, and he let us purchase it for $200. So, a hand for the mayor, please, everyone. <laughs> Excitement and gut and, 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 and wonderfulness that Columbia College has always been known for. Academic Affairs, therefore, is responding to, the, to this new group of students with a whole new uh, C minus grade policy and some, and some uh, uh, new uh, uh, concerns about academic rigor. I know you like that, you say. Ch challenge me. Challenge me as, you much, as, as much as you possibly can. Because therefore, when I leave this place, I'll be, a better, I'll be better able to do what I've come to learn to do. And so that's what we're going to do. We're also doing new things in our graduate education. And, uh, and so it's just a better place to be. You know, we've grown from 8,000 students to 12,500 students. And each, each year, I mean, each 10 years, 
we go through a process that's called an, an accreditation visit. How many of you have, have heard of it? Heard of okay. Very good. <coughs> I'm glad to know that. Uh, at the end of this month, a team from the Higher Learning Commission of, of, of North Central will visit the campus. The last time they were here was 10 years ago. And they raised some questions over who we were and what we were there. And we've answered all of those questions. All of those concerns, they, uh, everything they said that we want you to take a look at, we've done it and moved on and we've done better. And in actuality, in a lot of sense, we're not the same place that they visited 10 years ago. That's not the same team that they said back to see us again. But clearly we are, from my vantage point, and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll say up front, I'm prejudiced about this, we are a better institution. We're different, larger, and a better institution. And so what we've been doing over the past two years has been taking a real good look at ourselves in something that's called a self-study. And for a variety of people across campus, faculty, staff, students, administrators have all been involved in this process which resulted in a document, our self-study document, and fully led that process for us. And we've sent that off to the team who will visit us. It'll be a team of eight, and they will be all over the campus. They may stop and talk to you. They may stop in your office and talk to you. We don't schedule their time. They schedule it themselves. They determine who, who they're going to meet with and when, and we just ask you to be available. 